welcome back to this next episode of uh, Arm 3D tutorial series. Now today I want to show you how to add ambient sound music and sound effects. Now the easiest one to do is obviously the sound effects because it doesn't require any nodes, any uh, triggers to activate that event. Uh, it's really simple stuff so what I'm going to do is straight away I'm going to add a speaker. There we go, a speaker just underneath the camera. I'm going to move it up for visual purpose only because uh, it doesn't actually matter how big or how rotated it is or where it is in position because we want a flat sound, we don't want a three dimensional sound so the value of um, here, the distance value, you can see the volume minimum and maximum are different minimum is 0 and maximum is 1 uh, so that gives it a, a fake depth so if the place closer to the value uh, to the speaker, the value of um, intensity of the volume is going to be higher and to not have this three-dimensional sound effect, we can just set the minimum to one. So now, wherever the play is, the minimum is a full sound value. So the sound will play fully all the time. Now we're going to open up our ambient sound, and we have one here. I downloaded it from Pixabay Music, so it's uh, free and copyright free. And uh, as you can see, we adjusted the minimum and maximum. And now in the Army traits, in the Army props, I mean. We can set play from start and loop, just in case, you know, the level is quite long and you want the music to loop, you just don't want a blank spot. And if we run this to make sure it works, you should see that it does, because we're using a wild file. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is we are actually going to uh, adjust the volume by setting it to something much lower, maybe like... 0.2 and we are going to add another speaker and this one is going to be a sound speaker a sound effect speaker so we're going to open up the sound effect I have a jump one that I generated with SFXR which is a free program that a lot of game devs use to uh, create sound effects and um, here we can add uh, the minimum value to one again because we don't want any three dimensional sound and we are going to, instead of play from start, we are going to add a trigger event. Now we're going to rename this speaker so we can recognize it. We're going to set it to effect. And this one to uh, uh, ambient, maybe. Ambient music. And now let's go back to our visual scripting tab. And here, player one. In, no, not player one. We're going platform. And on platform here. We have a release, a, um, a touch release, and a uh, action which is rotating the platform. That is the main control of the game. It's the only control of the game, really. The only interaction other than the restart and the triggers. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the sound, and we're going to play a speaker. Not play a sound, we're going to play the speaker. And we're going to add this in here, and plug it into the object rotate or you could just plug into the uh, touch direct or whatever action you want to add the sound after and the speaker we want is actually I'll select it here the effects trigger the effects speaker I mean and so it's going to play that sound uh, which is uh, to configure the sound you obviously have to go to the panel here the distance is fine uh, the current 360 is the uh, angle of which the sound is projected. If you have this to 180, it will only be half of the um, viewport. And if you have this to 360, it's the entirety of the viewport. It's the full, um, anywhere you are, the sound will be heard. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And we can set the uh, volume to 1. And now if we play this, we should have everything working properly. And it should be quite good. And there we go, we have successfully added sound and ambient music to our game. Now this is really easy, all you need to do is to make sure the files you use are WAV files. Uh, as in not mp3 files because that doesn't work, it just breaks the thing. It has to be .wav, .wav. Uh, now these files are a little bigger than mp3s but it shouldn't be too bad. And um, yeah, if you want to convert these files then I highly recommend you use a website website is called anyconv.com and if you go to the file formats and uh, the conv I mean and you just select mp3 if you have an mp3 file then you just choose your file and you set the uh, the file format here to a WAV file here we go then you just convert it 
Thank you very much for watching this tutorial to the end and once again I would like to thank you and ask you to please subscribe and ring the uh, notification button and I can't speak anymore so I'm gonna leave you here. See ya.